I did think differently about my thesis once I could imagine the examiners reading it. Um, and it made me write a bit differently, I think, um, and just think more about how it was going to look as a whole piece. As it happened, the internal examiner was actually the one who was a real specialist in my area rather than the external one. Um, so I read, I reread everything that he'd written on the subject. But I just went onto the websites to see what the, just to see a whole list of what the research interests were, and then just looked through some of the work that they'd produced, just to see, just to kind of see where they where they would be coming from with their questions and the the, the way that they would look at the thesis when examining it. And I thought about how his work would kind of intersect with mine, thinking about which bits he would probably pick up on. And that was quite helpful, actually, because that proved that, that, that happened. I mean, I read my thesis through um, in full about three days before the vibe, and I probably should have done it a week before. And that was partly I was, I was busy teaching. I didn't quite, you know... Um, find the time the week before but I, I should have done it a week before just to give myself a bit more time to, to, to calm down about it. I did anticipate questions um, and they didn't really come up actually but that, I don't think that mattered because I think the point was just to be thinking about it and kind of actively thinking about it rather than just rereading and rereading. I do think it's important for the student and the supervisor to sort of get into contact before the viva because the supervisor will be able to advise and, and sort of give a sense of how to prepare. The most important thing about preparing is obviously rereading the thesis as closely as possible and maybe with somebody who knows a bit about the field, who, who can sort of stand in for the examiner, that is they know a bit about the field but they haven't been inside the process. If you can work out what you think the weak points are or where you think you might be um, attacked or required to expand or whatever else it is, it's good to prepare those points. It's at the very end, before I completely finished the thesis, I had a mock viva with the two members of the research panel, so they also had a chance to read through the whole thesis. Certainly, had I done a mock viva, I wouldn't have done it with my supervisor, I would have done it with someone I didn't know. Well, I was, I think I was specific, quite sort of calm about it and uh, relaxed about it also because I knew that my supervisor was very hard and then once she said she thinks that the thesis was ready, I think it would be hard to find anybody else to, you know, that would be more critical than she used to be.